Mother's Day. We are so excited to make this Mother's Day floral bouquet cocktail or mocktail with you guys. So thank you so much for joining. Let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna go over the extra items that you will need first. So if you've not already grabbed those, you can do so now. You are going to need a muddler or a uh, back of a wooden spoon works great. If you don't have either of those, you can just use a regular spoon, but we are gonna be muddling. And then you will need uh, a spoon as well. A shaker. <coughs> and then a glass of ice. And I have about uh, 10 ounces of ice um, here, so that'll be perfect for this drink. And those are all the extra items you need. So if you haven't grabbed those yet, go ahead and do so now. And let's go over what is in your kit. So with this kit, I put together one that is a cocktail and mocktail version together, which I know a lot of you did get. Um, and I will go over what you should have in the cocktail version and the mocktail version. So. With both of them, you will have these really cute glasses, two of those. You will also have two of these uh, kind of psychedelic straws here, really pretty. And then you're all gonna have soda water in each of your kits. You will also have two lemon wedges and 10 blueberries. So one lemon wedge for each drink and five blueberries for each drink. You will have a little bag with two baby's breaths and two of this kind of violet colored flower. And then in the cocktail version of your kit, you will have one and a half ounces of vodka. So that'll be a little cup of vodka. You are going to have half an ounce of blueberry puree and half an ounce of violet, both in this little cup. We have marked them with a C for cocktail. And for the um, mocktail version, you will have an M on the top of the cup as well. This is going to be three quarters ounce of violet syrup and half an ounce of blueberry puree, both in that little cup. All right, the cocktail version will have half an ounce of lemon juice. Again, there is a little C on the top for your cup. And the mocktail version will have three quarters ounce of lemon juice and it'll have a little M on the top corner. All right, so now that we've gone over everything you will need, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go through how to make the cocktail version and the mocktail version alongside each other so you can both do it at the same time. All right, so we are gonna start with our glasses. And you are going to grab your blueberries and your muddler. We're gonna do some muddling first. So for each of your drinks, I'll do the cocktail version here and the mocktail version on this side. Uh, we are each gonna muddle two blueberries per drink. So just go ahead and throw two blueberries into the bottom of your glass. We'll set that off to the side and take your muddler and just muddle that really well. It shouldn't take too long since there's only a couple of them. We just want some fresh fruit in there. Okay. Just about 20 seconds of modeling should be good. There will be some left on here. You can just kind of throw that in. Okay. And then we're done with the muddler. So you can set that off to the side. Um, and now we are going to take our blueberry puree and our violet syrup, and we are just gonna pour that into the very bottom of our glass. And this is going to give us uh, kind of that layered look. You can mix it all at the end, so it's all um, mixed really well, but we just want to start by throwing that in the bottom. And um, you might wanna shake this a little beforehand to make sure it's mixed, or once it's in the glass, you can kind of swirl it around there. So that was the cocktail version, and here is the mocktail. It smells so good. So very floral and fruity, super delicious. Okay, so once those are mixed, we are going to build the cocktail, the rest of the cocktail and mocktail in our shaker. So for the cocktail version, go ahead and throw your glass in the shaker and you are gonna wanna grab your vodka and your lemon juice. 
And we are going to pour the vodka in first. And then our lemon juice. And you're gonna go ahead and shake that. With the mocktail version, you are going to still wanna put your ice in there and uh, your lemon juice. And this is just so that when we pour it in here, those are already combined and we can layer it well. So if you have the cocktail version, give that a good shake. Mix the vodka and the lemon juice. If you have uh, the mocktail version, you can just throw that in some ice and kind of uh, swirl it around to cool it down. Okay. You can shake it too if you want. So I grabbed some ice for the mocktail as well. So I'm gonna throw that in my shaker and pour that lemon juice in, the three quarters ounce of lemon juice. And you can just swirl it or go ahead and shake it as well. That kind of gives it some extra uh, air in there too. All right, so now once you have both of those, Chicken up. We are going to grab our spoon and we're going to try to layer it as best as we can. So you're going to want to kind of hold the ice back and just pour in the liquid first um, and then just slowly let the ice cubes in. So we're just going to and it might start to mix a little bit but once you get all the liquid in there, then you can start kind of adding the ice in so it doesn't mix it up too much. Okay, like that. And then same with the mocktail version. Take your spoon, pour that liquid in first. And you'll see it start to separate. And then you can slowly let the ice in. Just like that want to add more ice you definitely can I probably would have added a little bit more ice but that is okay because now we are going to add our soda water um, so you're gonna want about two or three ounces for the cocktail and about three or four for the mocktail so one soda water will be able to fill up both so then just slowly pour that on top if you really want to make sure it's not going to mix you can use your spoon to pour it in slowly as well just like that all right and then we are going to garnish so let's start with our blueberries again and for this um, I like to take the straw to kind of help guide the blueberries in a little bit. So I'm gonna just pop one in kind of towards the front because I want to be able to take a cute picture with that. And then the other, I'm just gonna kind of put those wherever you'd like. So just drop those in. And they kind of rise, so if you push them down a little, they'll come back up. And then I, um, I'm gonna leave one for each for the very top. So if you just wanna stick one, oh, that one fell, that's okay. Um, just one on the top, like that. And then grab your lemon wedge and you can put that on either side, wherever you want it. All right. And then go ahead and grab your little flower baggie. And we're gonna start with our really pretty baby's breath. So you can put that on the other side if you'd like. You can put it on the same side, wherever you'd like that. Make it really pretty. And then take these really pretty violet colored flowers and you can also stick those here. You can put them wherever you would like. These are a little heavier too, so they might sink a little bit more. Kind of like the flowers together, just like that. 
And then the last step is to just take your straw and put that right on the side. There you go. And look how pretty those are. They are so gorgeous. So take your pictures, make them all pretty, and then go ahead and mix it up afterwards because if you don't, you're gonna get that layer of vodka and lemon juice and then all the sweetness in the bottom. So um, just go ahead and mix it up with your straw if you would like, um, or you can drink it exactly how it is and it's super, super delicious. So I hope you guys like both of those cocktail and mocktail versions. Um, here is my mother for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining. And thank you all. It's it's such a pretty drink. So I'm gonna cheers with my daughter yeah. for Mother's Day. All right. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers, mom. I also wanted to mention some super cute and fun new springtime jars that we are doing. Um, so we have our strawberry rose spiked lemonade. Very delicious. Uh, this jar makes four drinks. So um, that one is $20. Um, then we have our desert pear margarita and this is such a pretty color. Um, also makes about four to five drinks depending on what kind of glassware you're using and how much ice. Um, also $20 for that. And then our uh, honey jasmine old fashioned. So um, this one's super delicious. It's kind of our springtime version of our uh, whiskey or maple whiskey old fashioned. So really good. Again, it makes about uh, four drinks uh, with a rocks glass and a rocks ice cube or some ice cubes in there. Um, also $20. So all these jars are $20, make about four or five drinks. So all of these are available now. Um, you can order and pick up same day before we close. Um, and you can also order these through uh, DoorDash if you want them um, sent directly to you without having to leave your home, which is um, pretty crazy. But. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. Um, please visit our YouTube channel and our website for more cocktail classes. And until next time, cheers. Thank you guys so much.